Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about a few easily damaged components on the Antminer T17E hash board. The chip is the ASIC chip of the T17E hash board. If it is damaged, the hash board will have no hash rate. What we are looking at now is a PIC chip. As PIC chip, this chip can control the DC output voltage of the hash board. The chips located at U1 and U2 are the conversion chips. If these two chips are damaged, the control board will not be able to detect the ASIC chip and it will display zero if tested with a test fixture. Let's look at this chip. It is a boost chip, and it is also one of the chips we need to keep on hand. If the boost chip is damaged, the boost circuit will not work properly, and will not be able to provide the LDO power supply. A memory chip. Before repairing the faulty hash board, we need to save the code on this chip. After the hash board is repaired, copy the code into this chip again, so that the hash board can run normally. Now the chip pointed by the tweezer is the temperature sensor chip, and there are four temperature sensor chips in the T17E hash board. If the chip is damaged, the control board will not be able to read the temperature, and the entire miner will not be able to operate. The chip on the left is a low dropout voltage regulator chip. The chip on the right is a synchronous step-down DC converter capable of delivering two-way load current. If they are damaged, the ASIC chip corresponding to the current domain will not work normally. This chip with 5 pins is PLL 0.8 volt chip. After the chip is damaged, the power supply of the ASIC chip in the current domain will be abnormal. Let's see this group of standing chips. These four are MOS tubes. This MOS tube is very important. If the MOS tube is damaged, the voltage output by the power supply will not be able to supply power to the entire following domain through the MOS tube. Okay, you can leave a message if you have any doubts. See you.